Welcome back to the Daily Grind. So today I'm going to be making some potting mix. So I've got this brick of coconut core and I got for $16. The bag of perlite was $19. Seems expensive. Potting mix you can get a bag for cheaper but this is going to make about five times the amount that comes in one bag. Um, it's pretty inexpensive when you really break it down. So if you're making a lot of potting mix for a bunch of pots, this is the way to go. So this is uh, coconut core. Basically, it's compressed into a brick. You just give it water and it expands. So we're going to cut this open. And you want a pretty big container because this will expand to get very, very large. In fact, it might overfill this. We'll come back in a minute once this is soaked up. One thing I want to mention is if you really wanted something that uh, has a lot of nutrients in it, Add a bag of compost to this. So one brick, half a bag of this giant size perlite here, and one bag of compost, um, some kind of manure compost. Because that's going to add a lot of nutrients, all that it needs. Now, I've got some uh, organic fertilizer I'm going to mix in. First off, I don't have a bag of compost on hand. And second off, I'm going to use most of this for planting some seedlings. And I don't necessarily want a ton of nutrients for the seedlings because it's going to end up burning them. All right, well, that was pretty quick. That was about 10 minutes and it's already, you can see, soaking this up. Start getting the bottom part to soak up more. I might even hose it down a little bit more. I don't think that was enough. All right, so this has soaked up every bit of the water. Let's see if we can break this apart a little bit. And there is no water in the bottom here so yeah there's still some hard brick pieces so so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a spot to stick this so that way any water it can soak it up let's break this apart and yeah it's filling up more than what this bed can even handle now there's a few little dry spots in here that's not really fully soaked up it's okay, we'll do one more watering of it. So I'm just going to start moving some over into my wheelbarrow here. Halfway filled the wheel, wheelbarrow and it's still pretty full. So now I'm just going to add the perlite. how that looks and just mix this in so perlite is something that adds more drainage opens it up and perlite itself soaks up water really well too so it's just going to be super good with drainage and super good with holding moisture so next I'm just going to add a little bit of nutrients in Don't need a lot since again they're going to be small um, seedlings all right so what i'm doing is this is bone meal as you can see we've got this organic uh fertilizer you could use any brand really and then blood meal is going to be the nitrogen content I'm not going to add a lot of that because they're going to be young. What I usually do is top dress with some fertilizer once they get a little older. All right, and I'm going to leave this without any nutrients because I am going to start some seeds with this. This I'll put seedlings in, but this, like already, already started seedlings. This is going to be seeds, so they don't really need a lot of nutrients right in the beginning. Okay, and what I'm going to be planting today is going to be these two, I've got two of them, little apple trees that I started from seedling. Now, the thing with apples is they're all grafted, the ones they're used to getting. This is probably not going to produce the same type of apple that I had planted, but it will produce an apple. I just don't know if it's going to be very good, but we will see. And then I've got these pots, they're seven gallon 
nursery pots. Go ahead and get these out of their pot. Oh, we've got some decent root growth here. I'm gonna set them in. I'll do the same thing with this one. And then we'll just fill some dirt around them. Even better root growth on this one. I'm doing this for the first year because we are coming right into winter. So I'm gonna bring these inside or try to protect them. I don't want them in ground yet. This is probably enough to do three of these. I only have two, but I am gonna be planting some other plants as well. I've got this pot that I had something in, I'm forgetting what it was, but it doesn't matter because I know what I'm gonna be planting here is not gonna really be affected by any diseases. I'm gonna be putting oregano. And these cloth pots, by the way, the other ones for the apples that I had are seven gallon. These are 10 and these are really inexpensive. The seven gallon ones that I had gotten, the plastic ones, they cost like 10 bucks each. These are like 20 for 10 or 12 of them. So they're less, they're like two bucks each. This didn't fully fill that up. Those other two or seven gallons is probably four gallons, but we still have all this. So we'll go ahead and get that in. So let's get the oregano. All right, so these are the oregano plants. I had started them from seed a couple months ago. And I think that they're outgrowing their, their container here. Now, you don't want to disturb the roots too much, but you do want to break them up at the bottom here so they don't get root bound. I'm gonna put both of these oregano plants in the same pot. It is a 10 gallon and these, these should be fine. This dirt here did not have the nutrients. So I am gonna add just a light sprinkle of this bone meal and work it into the soil a little. Also, I'm sorry, that was blood meal. I don't know if I said that. I might've said bone meal. And this is the bone meal and we're just gonna Add a little bit of that too, because that helps with root development. We'll work that in. Now, when I planted these, I made sure I didn't plant above the crown. And so in a couple weeks, I mean, it is probably lower than where these are sitting. In a couple weeks, I'm gonna come in about two or three weeks with some compost and just spread it on top. I'm not gonna bring you guys along for planting or what I'm gonna utilize this for, which is gonna be seeds because um, I'm not going to do that today. But in a couple days, I will be planting some arugula and spinach and lettuce and stuff like that in some seed trays. So this is going to be for that. And this should be able to utilize all the seed trays I need. It's not a whole lot left, but that's enough for the seed trays. They don't require a lot. Let's go ahead and put this where I want to keep it. Keep it right over here. Water all this in. And same thing with the apple trees. So that's how I mix my potting soil. $16 plus, that's like 20, but I only used a quarter of the bag, so I'm talking five bucks. So $20 for all that soil, and I'm still not done. Now, if you want to add some compost, you can get compost for like four or five bucks and throw that, mix that in, and that's really not going to be adding much. So $25 if you want to do that, and that should be good enough for most potted plants. Um, and as you can see, I was able to fill quite a few pots. If you were going to fill all those pots with pre-made potting soil, it would cost you probably double that, uh, maybe 35, but we're still talking the savings here. And that's why I do it this way. If you like this content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification. Uh, so you can see more content in the future. I do tend to make a one video a day, at least sometimes two. Also hit the like button. If you don't mind, it helps me with the algorithms and sends it off to more people. I really appreciate it. And I'm also going to link to all the products that I used, including the fertilizer, the coconut core. I got at Home Depot, so I'll link to that one. Um, the perlite as well at Home Depot, I'll link to it. All of it I ordered online just because it ended up being cheaper and they delivered right to my house for free. And I'll also link to a couple other things that I uh, used, including these type of cloth potting uh, bags because they're a really good deal and really inexpensive. And they're durable. I mean, you can reuse them over and over again. Um, I'm sure they break down over time, but they still last quite a while. 
So I'll link to all that in the description section. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.